Okay, so here is a short version of the uh, famous Toyota RAV4 EV. It has only uh, two side doors and one back door. It also has a rear um, rear spare tire and uh, it has two outlets for charging. One here and uh, the other one is over here. This is the normal charging, but that's not what I'm going to show you. Uh, this uh, short video is to show you the uh, hacking of the communication bus between the um, battery pack and the rest of the vehicle. And here is the wiring harness that does that. It plugs in directly under, uh, it's probably very hard to see actually, uh, directly under the vehicle between the uh, uh, battery pack and the rest of the vehicle and then it's uh, inside it runs on a on a uh, Duinomite Mega uh, so um, the Duinomite Mega um, is actually running a program that interprets the result coming from the battery pack and uh, currently it looks very static but what it shows is in um, there is a bar graph for uh, uh, that shows uh, the individual voltages for all individual modules and then there are the four temperatures um, uh, these are the three temperatures of the battery pack plus the um, ambient temperature and then we have a high average and low battery this battery pack is rather um, um, not used recently so it's a bit discharged in the both middles of the battery sensing ECU that's for another video subject but and then the total uh, voltage of the battery pack we have an indication here that shows that right now um, uh, there is something wrong uh, there is this is the basically the CRC and uh, other um, checks that are run uh, during um, during the drive so uh, uh, depending on on uh, the quality of the data that is received, it could be totally um, uh, inverse or or not inverse. So each one, it, each time it ticks, it has received a new frame of data. And if the uh, if it becomes the symbol becomes inverse, then it means that the frame wasn't valid or it contained a uh, uh, weird uh, information that is not uh, interpretable. So that sometimes happens, it is a bit uh, uh, weird, uh, sometimes we receive only half frame for half of the pack, sometimes uh, there are values that doesn't, don't make any sense, um, but that seems to be okay for the vehicle. So, um, and if we are to drive the vehicle, uh, say, we start driving, you can see that... Um, do another try at this to show you what it what it shows. We're going to be accelerating in a second to a rather high speed, so you can see how the battery pack behaves and how the instruments what it shows. That's the uh, way that I look at the battery pack and that's the way I can see that the battery sensing ECU is reporting values to the rest of the vehicle. 